Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. We've got a dragon tutorial for you. I'm Lily. Let's get started. So I'm going to show you here. It's going to be very simple. Um, boys love this design as, as we know, and as we know, boys tend to wiggle a lot more than girls. So here I'm starting with Superstar Yellow. It's the bright yellow. And this is actually a round number four brush, but it's a different brand. It's more generic. So I feel like it's more, more closer to a round number five. I'm going to use yellow because I think it'll be easier to see in the camera. Typically boys like green or red dragons, even blue. So here we're going to start with the shape. Pay attention to the angle uh, of the shape of the head. So here's the top. We're going to make an indentation here. And the small part at front is the nose. We're going to go around the head. These two parts, we're going to meet them a little closer together. Now we're going to go ahead and fill this area. Now I'm going to go backwards and forward, sort of like a blade shape for uh, the top part of the mouth. Here we're going to start the bottom jaw a little further in. It's not going to be lined up with the top. Alrighty, just filling in all this area here. So, and take a look at the head shape. It's going in an angle. It's not going straight across. Now we're going to start with the back of the neck. Dragons are very snake-like. So keep that in mind when you're doing this part. The neck and the belly, very, very snake-like shape. And remember to make sure to give yourself room um, from the eye and then the bottom part of the design too. You want to make sure you have plenty of room there. You don't want to go too close to the eye. You don't want to go too close to the mouth or uh, too far down the jawline. So I'm taking a sponge and just spreading out the um, yellow color here, just blending it all together. Here I was, I was uh, mentioning about the space. So we'll take more Superstar Yellow and we're going to create the wing here. There we go. Now remember the wing, you don't have to take it too high. And here I'm just going to do one, two, and three parts. Here I'm just cleaning up this area, uh, blending it as, as best I can. All right, we're going to work with our uh, Superstar Black is actually what's in there. And uh, this is my little Cornell in round number three. So I'm going to start with the indentation here. I'm going to go up and around. Now I'm taking the lightest touch here. These are not going to be thick lines. Here I've got two spikes at the top of his um, nose. There we go, we're gonna shape them out. And then we're gonna make the uh, mouth line right here. The mouth line, I make it go downward. That way we have more of an angrier uh, dragon. Then we go ahead and outline that bottom jaw, making sure to give a spike to the front. And you can get really, really creative uh, with this design as far as like horns and spikes. Here with the eye, I'm creating a triangle shape using the black and filling it in. We'll give him a top eyebrow here. All right, we're gonna figure out the belly here. We're gonna do a little bit of um, scale there we go, just to outline that belly. What 
we'll go ahead and outline the wing. Now as you can see my lines are getting a little thicker than they were around the face. I'm going to come up and outline this bottom part of the wing. And we're just going to do three lines here uh, in the wing just to give it a little bit of shape. Now remember, this is a very simple dragon design. We're not being uh, super detailed at all. We're just um, giving the, the suggestions here. Now we're going to go with our white. This is actually a paint pal brush, round number four. I really love it. Now with the white on this part, because we've outlined in black, um, the white you want to make it very creamy. You want a very, very creamy consistency. This way it won't blend in, uh, incredibly bad with the black that we've laid down. Once you've got that, we're going to create all the spikes. And here you can add as many or as few as you want. And you can kind of spread them out everywhere. Boys love spikes and scary things. So I decided to um, add a row of them. We'll go ahead and give um, these claws to the edge of the wing as well. And then I'm going to also add some teeth here. Just going up, down, up, down, creating mini teardrops. Do some highlighting here just very quickly, keeping it very simple. We don't want to overdo this design. Now for his eye is going to be one incy wincy little dot. <laughs> now the reason we don't want a large white dot in there is because that's more cartoony and cute. If we keep that dot very, very uh, tiny, it creates more of a villain look. So there's the final piece. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps.